Good morning, and welcome to Old St. Mary's Church. My name is Sophie Marcus, and I'm from Mrs. Ayer's 7th grade homeroom here at Old St. Mary's School. Today is Monday, January 23rd, 2023. It is the third week in Ordinary Time. Today we celebrate the Day of Prayer for the Legal Protection of Unborn Children. Please stand and join us in our opening song, We Belong to You, number 865, number 865. We belong to you, O Lord of our longing. We belong to you. In our daily living, dying and rising, we belong to you. In the waters of your mercy, when the old becomes comes the new souls united in the mystery we belong to you we belong to you O Lord of our longing we belong to you in our daily living dying and rising we belong to you filled with gifts and filled with goodness spirit breathing life into all who seek to find their purpose we belong to you we belong to Lord of our longing, we belong to you. In our daily living, dying and rising, we belong to you. When we share the bread you've broken with the many and the few, we are blessed and we are broken we belong to you we belong to you O lord of our longing we belong to you in our daily living dying and rising we belong to you In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. You are the Savior of the world. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who gather what is scattered and keep together what you have gathered, look kindly on the flock of your Son, that those whom one baptism is consecrated may be joined together by integrity of faith and united in the bond of charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever.
A reading from the book of Hebrews. Christ is the mediator of a new covenant, since a death has taken place for deliverance from transgressions under the first covenant. Those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance. First, Christ did not enter into a sanctuary made by hands, a copy of a true one, but heaven itself, that he might now appear before God on our behalf. Not that he might offer himself repeatedly as the high priest enters each year into the sanctuary with blood that is not his own. If that were so, he would have to suffer repeatedly from the foundation of the world. But now, once and for all, he has appeared at the end of the ages to take away sin by his sacrifice. Just as it is appointed that human beings die once, and after this, the judgment, so also Christ, offered once to take away sins of many, will appear a second time, not to take away sin, but to bring salvation to those who eagerly await him. The word of the Lord. the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his deliverance to the nations. He has remembered his merciful love and his truth for the house of Israel. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing out your praise. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The scribes who had come from Jerusalem said of Jesus, He is possessed by Beelzebul, and by the prince of demons he drives out demons. Summoning them, he began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? 
If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. That is the end of him. But no one can enter a strong man's house to plunder his property unless he first ties up the strong man. Then he can plunder his house. And then I say to you, all sins and all blasphemies the people utter will be forgiven them. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an everlasting sin. For they had said, he has an unclean spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. My friends, it's great to be able to celebrate the school mass with you. I don't often get to do it. In case you haven't seen me in a while, I'm Father Stu, your your pal and associate pastor here at Old St. Mary's. Uh, It is really just a joy to get to be with you this morning and and talk about Jesus. You know, and uh, in today's edition, talking about Jesus in the Gospel of Mark, he's saying some very strange, mysterious and unusual things. You got your Beelzebul, you got your house divided, and you got your, you know, uh, well, the Beelzebul is what threw me off. Um, There's a lot going on in there. Now, what's Jesus talking about? I have no idea. So, do you know, do anybody know? (laughs) I'm just kidding. I got a couple of thoughts. I will say, though, that it's always good to leave room for some mystery, because Jesus isn't always clear He wants us to think about things, receive things, and process things for ourselves. But one of the keys to this passage is this idea. If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom can't stand, right? If a house is divided against itself, that house can't stand. He chooses the word kingdom, though, purposefully. Why? Because Jesus came to proclaim the kingdom of God. So he's very interested in what that kingdom is is going to look like. He brings that up because people are looking at Jesus, and one of the ministries that Jesus is living is he's casting demons out of people. There are people who are tormented by evil, and they're they're not able to live their lives normally in society because of that torment, and so Jesus frees them. And some of the scribes and Pharisees are like, well, you're only able to do that because the devil's helping you. And Jesus rightfully says, now what kind of sense does that make? Right? If the devil were helping me, he's not going to cast demons out of people. He, He wants them to be tormented. I want them to be free. I'm building a kingdom here, for crying out loud. Right? That's what Jesus is interested in. He's doing this ministry, finding the least in his midst, those who have been left behind, alienated, excluded, Uh, put outside the cities, towns, families, societies because of illness and poverty, um, because of social status, whatever. He's trying to reach those people and build his kingdom, that his kingdom might truly be united. That's important for us to understand. Because he knows if that kingdom is divided, the kingdom will not stand. Because it won't be the kingdom. It won't be God's kingdom. Right? Now look, friends, not everything comes back to turtles, but sometimes things do. This is a rather shocking statement, isn't it? It was a bit of a turn here in the homily. What happened? If you ever watch turtles, as I did often as a young lad before I got my first turtle, Toby, you watch these little baby turtles, and something they do in their tank, in their terrarium, you ever see this? They stack on top of each other. It's very unusual behavior. Most of the time they're swimming around, living their lives, eating their food, having a good time. Why do they stack on top of each other? Well, because there's this basking light. And everybody needs a turn under that lamp because the heat is good for their shell, right? But to get to the very top of it, to get very close to that lamp, One turtle has to go here, and then another turtle, and then another turtle, and another turtle, and another turtle. And then this turtle spends a little time getting heat until his shell is good to go. He jumps off, 
What happens? Then the next turtle gets to enjoy the heat. He jumps up. And what's interesting about this whole system is that they don't make a differentiation. They don't discern or decide this turtle has earned the right to some heat today. He could have some good stuff for his shell because we like that turtle. He's been participating properly. He hasn't been ill or anything. He hasn't shown any signs of weakness. So we'll let him spend his time up there. Imagine if the turtles did that. That would be totally cruel and unfair and wouldn't allow them to live peacefully in their little tank there. Now imagine if human beings took that tact, right? Imagine if we took that approach and we were to say, uh, you know, well, the opposite thing, if we said, well, look, you're too poor, you're too different, you're from another place, another country, another town, another society, and we can't allow you to have the things you need because of that difference. That kingdom can't stand. That's what Jesus is talking about. That kingdom can't stand. We have to be a place, right, that lifts people up. The sense of the turtles is kind of more literal. That lifts people up, that raises people up, allows them to enjoy and take in all that they need to thrive, to live, to flourish in the kingdom of God, not because they earned it, not because they look like us, not because they ticked the right boxes, but because they're human. And that's it. Whether we are sick or poor, we're going to experience all of these things in our lifetime. Being frail, being vulnerable, right? None of those things make any difference in the kingdom of God. What makes us valuable is that God made us. And we're made in his image. No matter where we are in our life, no matter what we own, what we look like, Everyone is precious in the eyes of God, young and old. Friends, let us stand and bring our prayers to our loving God who hears us. Thank you. For the old St. Mary's community, the church throughout the world, and for the Holy Father's intention for January, that educators may be credible witnesses, teaching fraternity rather than competition, and helping the youngest and most vulnerable, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our world's leaders, may they lead with wisdom, compassion, and courage, reflecting the church's teaching, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are in need of life's basic necessities, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are suffering in mind or body, that they find healing and consolation through care and support, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have passed away, and for Luis and Virginia Beatty, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions that we hold in the silence of our heart, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good, loving God, we ask you would hear all of our prayers. We make them through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who is God forever and ever. Let's join in singing number 754, A Generous Heart, number 754.
Show us your way, give us only what we need. Teach us to serve as you deserve. As you emptied yourself, let us give as we receive. Create in us a generous heart. Create in us a generous heart. That we may give our all without counting the cost. Create a generous heart. That we may fight for justice not heeding the wounds. Change our heart, Lord, create a generous heart. Show us your way, give us only what we need. Teach us to serve as you deserve. As you emptied yourself, let us give as we receive, create in us a generous heart, create in us a generous heart, to toil for what is right, never looking for rest, create a generous heart. To labor on for peace, not to ask for reward. Change our hearts, Lord, create a generous heart. Show us your way, give us only what we need. Teach us to serve as you deserve. As you emptied yourself, let us give as we receive. Create in us a generous heart. Create in us a generous heart. Pray, brothers and sisters, in my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him you brought us to the knowledge of your truth, so that by the bond of one faith and one baptism, we might become his body. Through him you poured out your Holy Spirit among all nations, so that in a wondrous manner he might prompt and engender unity in the diversity of your gifts, dwelling within your adopted children and filling and ruling the whole church. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, how glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. of the world 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let's sing number 1040, Many and Great, number 1040. Oh, 
Christ we recall the sharing of our lives with one and all. Many and great are pebbles in the sand. The sun glows, the wind blows. Take now and speak the word to every land. The cup of goodness and hope. The weed grows from springtime to fall. The wine flows, in Christ we recall the sharing of our lives with one and all. of the word the Christ speaks the heart seeks gathered as one we listen to the word and share the meal of new birth though he grows from springtime to We meet the sharing of our lives with one and all. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church. Through Christ our Lord. My friends, the Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. And let's go forth singing number 802. How can I keep from singing? Number 802.
My life flows on in endless song Above earth's lamentation I hear the clear though far off hymn That hails a new creation No storm can shake my inmost calm While to that rock I'm clinging since Christ is Lord of heaven and earth, how can I keep from singing? Through all the tumult and the strife, I hear that music ringing. It finds an echo in my soul. How can I keep from singing? No storm can shake my inmost calm While to that rock I'm clinging Since Christ is Lord of heaven and earth How can I keep from singing? Look through my joys and comfort die The Lord my Savior liveth Though the darkness gather round Songs in the night He giveth No storm can shake my inmost call While to that rock I'm clinging since Christ is Lord of heaven and earth, how can I keep from singing? The peace of Christ makes fresh my heart, a fountain ever springing. All things are mine since I am His. How can I keep from singing? No storm can shake my inmost calm While to that rock I'm clinging Since Christ is Lord of heaven and earth How can I keep from singing?